baba kuzi kwa mashuri na ya rangi she lete ubu na kazi na konda gafite lete tumukaza na wa
hori horere hora gwanda hora hori horere hora gwanda
kanisha abaturi mu bagize cyangwa bakorana mu iki gihe cyaje usigira kwa matunzi ukomeje kandi n'umuri ari jambo y'ikinya rwanda bakunda muri gasita rwanda nyabura ati muri ukumva nawe ukiza muri rwanda rwanda ari rwanda
ikadutwara abavandimwe ikadutwara bakozi bari bashoboye ikadusengera igihugu itaretse no gushavuza imitima y'abarokotse ariko kandi nubwo ibi byose byabaye nagira ngo mbabwire ko bitazongera kubaho ukundi dufite ikizere cyuko haraho twakubera ko haraho twaguye haraho tugeze kandi heza ndetse hari naho twifuzwa kugera kandi heza kurushaho tukaba tudashidikanya ko tuzagera uko dufite ubuyobozi bwiza udahwema kudushishikariza ikiza nuko dushakira ikiza muri iki gihe twibuka genocide yakuri abatutsi mu gihe kimwe magana 9 na mukera na kane ku nshuro ya 2019 mu muco nkabagize ikora na buhanga uko bisigaye bigaragara ko ukurwanya genocide n'ingenga bitekerezo cyayo abashaka gufobya abagifite ingenga bitekerezo basigaye ubu cyane cyane babikoresha cyangwa babikorera mu ikorana bwa abanekereza ko kifashijuru menyi no ushobozi dufite mu ikorana buhanga twagira uruhare rugaragara mu guhangana na genocide n'ingenga bitekerezo yayo sinasoza nashimye ingabo izari zarapi no mugabo wazo mukuru ya kubaha president wa republika Paul Kagame kuruhare rukomeye bagize mu gwagarika genocide no kubaka Rwanda uyu munsi dufite kandi twishimye tukomeze twihangane ku twibuke kandi twiba mwanya um kumba muhamya yango ntibyo kuduha ubuhamya tamukeyigira imbere tugeze mu muhamya kuna minister eh uh, ICT na innovation anya kwa mariano Genocide <laughs> yabaye maze imyaka icyenda nkora mu post ubwo nari naratangiye akazi muri 1985 ariko post ndi kigo yo nari nyimaze imyaka ibiri uko nari nari muri we mvuye muri ministeri yitumanaho no gutwara abantu n'ibintu yitwa gabinet transcription gihe ano eh imposta imaze kushingwa abakozi bamwe bavirira muri kibwa kiposta abamwe abandi basagara muri ministeri abandi bajya muri sector ya telecommunication uko icyo giye zari zifatanye eh uhamya ndi ubabwire ntabwo ari ubuhamya bujyanye n'ubuzima kugiti cyanjye cyangwa se kugahubwo n'ubuhamya bijyanye na 
only 10% of the position within the uh, National Post Office were reserved to Tutsis.
So the three tribes uh, or ethnicities described here were not brought by the colonizers, uh, Tutsi, Twa, and Hutu. The Tutsi signified at the time they, they called uh, the Tutsis the favored of God and uh, the, uh, the taller, the more good looking. Hayuma, Yavari Mutuz, Ero, we are Kavaru Mutuz, Wusu Yuko, Yavaga Fedio, Gau, Prague, Mufushabuta. And if they were wealthy and had assets, then they were the truer uh, version of the Tutsi. Yeah. There is uh, an estate that you bring you to lose all your cows. Those who you have given them, they bring it back and you always have cows in your, your own home. Okay. <coughs> and Hutu uh, at the time signified someone that was a servant to another. <laughs> Okay, so it goes way back in history in, in the 1900s when uh, they wanted to 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 uh, what's the word to remove the king at the time. What's yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's so they asked uh, his nephew Rudahigwa to replace his father. And uh, Rudahigwa refused because he was very close with his father. Hanyuma uyu nyirarume kayondo niwe bari batumye kwagenda kugumbisha bagomba gukura kwemera gasimbura se kubutegetse. And uh, and his uncle Kayondo that they had sent to convince him of this. 
kayonde ruro yari yaragabiye rudahikwa inka zose rudahikwa yarafite ni kayonde wari waraze muhaye kanyira ruko so as he kayonde uh, his uncle had given him all the cows that he owned rudahikwa maze gusuzugura kayonde yanze ko murakubaha icyo icyemezo abakoroni bafite cyo gukura hose akamusimbura So once Rudahigwa had refused to replace his uh, his uncle on the kingship. Kayondo za kazo sera zimunyaze. Kayondo his uncle who had gifted him all the cows and took them back. No ni ho mubyara we witwaga rwabutugo wari umutware wa rwamagana. Another cousin of his that was a mutware in another a chief in another district of Magana. Eh amugabira inyanda 42 n'ikimasa cyo hanyuma iyo yabaga agiye guhiga rero udahimba maze kumwaba iyo yajyaga mu muhigo akicye amazwa yaravuga ngo ndakwishe ndakwirahiye ndumutwa rwa mutoko so he says whenever he went out hunting and he killed an animal he would say it that I've killed you I've killed you I'm a Hutu of Rotok yeah in other words can find that he is a servant of Rotok yes niba rero umwami yari yagiraga ko ari umugaragu wa Rwabutok kandi ari umwami nyiru Rwanda if a king would just proclaim that he is a servant of someone else yet he is still the king of Rwanda yeah ibi bisobanuye yuko ujabo umuhutu mbere na mbere byabo bisobanuye umugaragu wa Rwanda This signifies that the word Hutu from the beginning meant that you are a servant of someone. There are so many examples, for example, there's a Siete. So uh, good examples for example the father of the uh, <laughs> genocide who was uh, um, uh, killed uh, right after the genocide his father who was a tutsi was actually uh, removed from being a tutsi and became a hutu because he made an abominable thing of milking a cow inside his mouth directly yeah. So the way the Hutu or Tus, the way the explanation was had to change when only the organizers came. Ah, uh, cyane Especially when the religions came to colonize Rwanda, ababiriji cyari cyo gikenye cyahawe kuragira ibihugu by'u Rwanda n'u Burundi ntabwo twakorujwe twararagije so um Belgium was a very poor country which was given to oversee Burundi and Rwanda we are actually not colonized but we are rather given as a gift to Belgium to be overseen muri politike ya bero bashakaga uko ruko bashoboye ututubugu tubiri u Rwanda n'u Burundi bahawe nk'indagizo So in their politics they wanted to figure out how are they going to manage these two countries that have been given uh, to just oversee them. Ah uh, umusaruro bakatukamura bakavana mu kibagashora mu bikeye. Nibwo rero batangiye kuvuga ngo abatutsi nibo bagomba kwifashishwa mu butegetsi ni n'ibyavugaga ndabitwaga abantropologue cyangwa abashakashatsi ngo bitsobere mu mibereho y'abantu. So that's when the narrative uh, by anthropologists started to say that the Tutsis are the ones who are going to help manage uh, especially in the leadership positions. Uh, so the question there was how are we going to know who the Tutsis are? How do we define them? How are we going to identify and know them? 
uwa uwa mbere watangiye kuvuga ko abatutsi ari bo bambere bagomba kwifashishwa mu butegetsi ni musenye class so the very first one to say that we are going to use tools is to help us manage this musenye class ah kwitari cyo kunyabira imwe zo kwezi kwa cyenda igumira magana 2027 ah september to the first 19 1927 so he wrote a letter to the resident representative who was from from was region at that time so if there's something that we must do to develop Rwanda we have strength in the youth in the Tutsi youth in Rwanda they are smart they are able to manage and rule yeah. whatever they do and even their mistakes make the society respect them uh, so how are we going to know them how do they look like Monsignor Julien Gorju wari bujumbura nawe so Monsignor Julien who was in Bujumbura arapa ngo ngo nta gushidikanya ko abatutsi ari bo beza muri Afrika there's no doubt that the Tutsis are the most handsome and beautiful in Africa kuburyo dashobora gutinya kuvuga ko arabazungu bambaye uburwira to the extent you cannot be ashamed to say that they are white with a black skin they have long noses they are told they uh, uh, measure uh, 1.7 meters uh, when they are talking about the hutu they say that they are short and fat and they have flat noses and they love to eat yes and they have no skills like the tutsis when you get to the twa they say that they have a very uh, shrunk uh, uh, face compared to all the africans so when they are looking all them they they sprint when they want to see during the daylight the excellent that you think that their eyes are meant to see at night uh, in the forest and not uh, during the day with the exception of the monkeys of the poor that was the tutsis are actually cynicals yes so when the missionaries started to come they started to go in two families teaching the word of god we get to a family they find tall kids and short ones in world to do families and uh, 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 families you would find uh, they were tall and they looked very good because they are cattle keepers but in other areas to differentiate between the Hutu and Tutsi would be difficult for them so that's when they made a decision to start counting people measuring their morphologies they would measure how tall they are and the kind of work they did so they started introducing identity cards giving the tall ones the tutsi identity card and the short ones the hutu identity card also depending yeah. on what the kind of a profession they did yeah this id called the ibuku book uh, so this is the identical it was called a book now on what is called ukoko uh, which is some tribe it says umusinga this is umusinga uh, how many meter eight tribe 
So the height is uh, 1 meter 65. Profession. Uh, profession is a cultivator. He is a cultivator. Uh, he related moving in, in the front of people. So, to to go in here, bagu bagu pima umu awanu bakawaha na na nuko koko tututi. So they would measure people, their height, their profession, and then they would give them an identity whether tutsi or hutu. Let me have an example. <laughs> Uriya, musinga tu wajib pun memetri mungkin ada beberapa tulaga tanu. Kabar itu mungkin si kuriya bab muda kabunya hadit sebiji. So, for example, the the musinga that we just saw, who is one meter and sixty five centimeters, who is a cultivator? What is his tribe? Who can tell us? So, who can tell us what his tribe is? You know what to give. Come here, Richie. Batuke mbono muhutu kubera ko cyakora we yaho muhinzi akabana mugufi rero kiya gihe washora kubona nje we dosendesha gutya ariko mfite ntazanye 85 so we are told that because of his profession and his height that person is a lot but he's saying that for example innocent uh, his height he might have 80 uh, a hat of cows in in a farm he Chamba ukasanga njewe murumuna wanje ni muremure arahinga hangafite nje ni mugufi ya inganda zifu or you find his brother his young brother who is way taller than him who does not have cows who cultivates icyo gihe rero umwe bavuga ubwoko bw'umugutu undi bakamwerekera mu ndaga mu muri yaranga mu mugore wakora mu tutsi so in that situation one would be given a hutu another would be given a tutsi yet there are brothers yes hajuma icyakurikiragaho igihe abana banje bazajya gufatiranga umuntu bazabatuma iyanye bandukuri byanditse so what would for his children when the time of getting IDs would come they would ask their father's ID then they would look at what their father's ID says then that's what they would write in their children's ID no ni huna abantu bo muvandi bo wanje tuvukana bahayo ubwoko bwatandukanye n'ubwanje nawe bagende bakoga bwa bwoko gas similarly the children of his siblings would also follow the same suit they would also check their identity then write uh, give the identity of the father to the children Hari video nabonye umwana we mukobwa Rosa hadi ari bana avuga ngo ukwezi kwa gatatu yarabwiye ngo waretse tugabuka ko bazakwica. There is a video so that uh, his daughter telling him that in March why don't we flee because you're going to be killed. Umarabura ngo umukobwa wanje ngo ninde udashobora ninde utazapa police. Then he said to his daughter my daughter who who not be who is not going to die in this world. Ngo yabwiye mu gifaza mu bafiye kino mu hapa enjo sur cette terre. Said it in French, who won't die uh, one day in this world. So, so on 4th of April, two days before uh, the Roman's death, so Bagosora said it again at the hotel diplomat that was here in Kigali. Ko ikibazo cy'urugamba n'inkote cyagiye kugirangiza hatari bana n'afite resera mu bazamwica hanyuma bakica abatutsi bose intambara gatanya. So they are going to finish the issue of Ngotanyi because when Hadari Mana comes back they are going to kill him and then they are actually going to kill Ngotanyi and all the Tutsis in Rwanda. General Munyakazi urukiko yavuze ko kwitarije shaka saine za mu gitondo yamusanze mu biro by'akarimo bwiri. And General Nyakazi uh, said it in, uh, in a court this day. on the next day on the 5th he found him in his office and told him about it he said i have also come to know about it please don't tell anyone so that we don't scare the masses kuri uwo mugoro bakwita rikeshaje n'ubundi mu gutsura mu habagara bwa ngo niki menye menye sinzajya yo nabe rugira mu gihe tubaza tabataza bazakwica Uh, that evening of uh, April 5th, uh, the, the then Zaire President Mobutu called him and said, that, Don't go there because if you do, uh, you're going to be killed. For example, I myself am not going to go. Yes. So that's why on 6th of April, the people who went to the restaurant in the pistols, uh, President Mobutu did not go. 
yaba yeshua neza yuko uko mugambi wo kumura suhari mu gitondo bari kutuga kideye so had the man came to know of the plan to assassinate him in the morning when he was at the airport ngiye kubona abona na chef de tamajoro bari kumwe mu bantu bagiye gufata kurira ndeke so at that moment he saw that the army chief of staff is with him and as someone who is going to go with him habo biba yuko mu gihe kinabara akiriya preza w'igihugu ajyana muri mission na na chef de tamajoro So it's not common anywhere where during a war time when the head of state and the army chief of staff go together in the same plane. Ya maje go now to the point where they are. He asked them, so are you together with me? We're going together. He told him that the Bagosora called me last evening to come and take uh, my mission order to go with you. Mm. Niyo abantu yase abantu tsina basesenguzi bakavuga bati niba Uh, Prezida Republika yaragomba kugira n'umwe mu bakuri y'ingabo. So researchers analyze and say that if the head of state was supposed to go with the army chief of staff, ni gute ministre w'ingabo yagomba kujya mu nama muri Cameroon ngo yiga ku mikino ya Olympique. How would the minister of defense at that time go for another conference in Cameroon to study about Olympic games? Ah uh, uh, epui Noneho mwigute chef de tambar joro niba cyaragaragaraga yuko ministere ga bigomba guhagararirwa directeur de cabinet ni wagomba kujya na president aho kugira ngo yana chef de tambar joro kandi directeur de cabinet ari bagoso so at that moment if really the ministry of defense had to be represented at that meeting why did the director of cabinet be the one to go but rather he sends the army chief of staff together with the president yeah it is rare rero ngo habyari bana ngo yaje gutekereza aza gukonvisinga president w'u Burundi ko bagomba kuzana ikigali so when the the meeting in the restaurant uh, that's when habyari bana realized what was going to happen and he had to convince the then president of Burundi to come with him to kigali na bwa yuko president w'igihugu afata urugendo bitari kuri protocol yo rugendo It has never happened where a head of state takes a journey that is not planned that is not his uh, his his orders in protocol yeah muri karikiri rero kwaruva ngo indege y'u Burundi iraza mbere ni mara kuza mbere bayirase hayimye habyari imana ize nyuma ni impamvu so in his calculation was that the head of state plan uh, uh, from Burundi would come first so if it comes first they're going to shoot it and then the president had the is going to come with the president of Burundi in his second uh, plan uh dio mpamvu ya fashe indege ye ashyiramo president of Burundi na ba ministere byegera bye noneho abandi bantu batoroheje bagenda mu ndege y'u Burundi baragata mu gende kigali turaje so that's why he took the president of Burundi and his close ministers put them in his plan and then the the plan that brought the president of Burundi was sent with other Junior staff and said, "Please go. Then we'll come later." Yeah. It's hard to believe. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Ah, minister, we're going to get speedy. We're going to get some fast money. Nagasana and Nastase, they're sharp. We're going to get more than we're paying. So, what really tipped them off? Tipped the killers off is that. Ugorero, ah, Yaraje, Ndeje, Iragwa, Ndeje, Mukui, Tuazo, Nubuni, Kuba, Fuka, Kodewa, Peri, Kona, Magariyo, Kubera, Kuta, Tatu, Gata, Tatu. Baba mu gitero kinyenzi abatutsi barenge mu mirongo ine bishwe ntabwo ari indege yari yaguye so when the plane the later on the uh, Habdelman spent came it was shot down then that became the spark for the killings but which was not because in 1963 when the 40,000 tutsi were killed there is no plane that had been shot down it in bigata to mirongo 9 92 the same thing happened 1990 1992 Ibyo byose ni ya hono yo mubiriki yakomeje tugota turu uyo muzi gutekereza mu nashishoza because all this happened because of what had been sold by the villagers which continued to manifest itself and we had no leadership to think through it and see what was taking place the church i conclude we manage me as a devote thank god that brought him out and that is as we get around May he, may he give them uh, a long life for a
Thank you. Marasa, Rumi, Agavich, and Hande, Nova Baruhe, our preacher, and ye, getting it face to Zakun and Wandry. Majorania, a mamma use him, me baroco. A woman who has his coya foot, or a banda, maybe son yera. Yara Majorania, mamma use him, me baroco. A woman who has his coya foot, or a banda, maybe son yera.
yo guhembera urwango uhereye kuri Republika ya mbere biza no gukomeza kuya kabiri urwango rwaje kubyara ubwicanyi ndetse nitote kwa y'abatutsi byakozwe mu bihe bitandukanye muri mu gihe kimwe 1959 kuva mu gihe kimwe 1963 na gatatu aho abatutsi bishwe bagatwikirwa ndetse bakanirukanwa mu mashuri ibi byatumye abatutsi bahunga igihugu abenshi bahungira mu bihugu bidukikije ubutegetsi bwa Repubulika ya mbere n'ya kabiri gaje guza impunzi kugaruka mu gihugu ari nako gutegura umugambi wa genocide yakorewe abatutsi nyuma yuko inzira zose zigeregejwe zikananirana impunzi z'abanyarwanda zifatanyije n'abanyarwanda baharaniraga impinduka mu gihugu bibumbiye mu muryango RPF Mpotanyi zanogeje umugambi zifata icyemezo cyo gutaha mu gihugu ndetse zinahagarika genocide abafashe uyu mwanya kugira ngo tubashimire tunashimira na President of Republic of Congo Kagame bahagarise genocide yakorewe abatutsi bakaba baraduhaye igihugu gifite amahoro akaye ni igihugu twese tugomba kurushaho gutanga umusanzu wacu mu kucyubaka genocide yakorewe abatutsi mu gihe kimwe na mukena na kane imizi mu ngenga bitekerezo y'urwango yabibwe mu banyarwanda igihe kinini ibi kandi ntibyarangiranye nayo kugeza n'uyu munsi harabakomeje gukwirakwiza ingenga bitekerezo ya genocide mu Rwanda mu karere no mu mahanga bumwe mu buryo bukoreshwa ni imbuga nkoranyambaga social media ndetse n'ibinyamakuru bikorerwa kuri bikorera kuri internet cyangwa kuri murandasi bityo bikabesha isi yose for some of our partners that are here today, I wanted to express our heartfelt gratitude for joining us today on the 29th commemoration of the genocide against the Tutsi. For us, it's a time to reflect on the things that bring us together, not the material things from the testimonies that you've already heard, and more so to put together to join forces and contribute to building a country that is that has recovered uh, from this history but also a progressive country our sector particularly is made of young and an able workforce it's unfortunate that we have a young and able workforce that was lost during the genocide against the tutsi but it's our collective responsibility to really ensure that we build on the good foundation that the government has given us and, and build a country that's progressive Rwanda Rwanda rwa gasabo twari umuhere kuri gihanga wa ruhanze ngoma rwoga ingoma karinga tukirumwe 94 mateka arahinduka ibyara matabi hinduka maraso zamarere ziratabara Rwanda turatenga maye umura Rwanda umura ntibizongera kwibuka kwiyubaka jona sete nizongere kubaho Rwanda, Rwanda, 
Je suis Yerihari muri sekteri yitumanaho watanze ubuhamya bwiye ko iposta mbere yakoreraga muri za ministere za zishinzwe itumanaho bitaga nyene communication no gutwara ibintu ministere ya transport and communication uko zagiye zisimburana rero mu Rwanda ni naho nyine akazi kiposta ka kabaruzwaga mbere ya 1992 iposta yari tarabikiko yabaye kibumwe mu kenya kabiri ubundi yari departement muri ministere yo gutwara ibintu nabantu nitumanaho eh naho yabarizwaga ubu rero kuva muri igimbo kimwe kuva mu 2007 iposta yashyizwe muri ministere yitumanaho habaye ho guhindura imitekerereze mu kureba ivi posti ikora ntabwo ari ugutwara ubutumwa gusaba twaye ku mapikipiki twaye se mu ndege twaye se mu modoka ariko no gufasha mwitumanaho ryanditse bitandukanye n'itumanaho ryikora na buhanga rigendera mu nsinga n'ibindi nk'ibyo iposte ikora ifasha itumanaho rikoreshwa mu mapuro mu jambo ryanditse namwe nyine nkaba nk'abanyamakuru ubu ngo musige byose mubishyira kuri internet ariko ubundi mwaravyandikaga bikaza mu mapuro nibiki kuba kuva rero 2007 iposta ubu ngo ibarirwa cyangwa ministere yikurira ntikiri ministere ishinzwe gutwara ibintu nitumanaho ahubwo ni ministere yikorana ubuhanga ibigo rero bindi ni ibigo byiyongereyeho kuri ministere nkuko ministere yabibabwiye ni ibigo bishya Yeah. 